our top story right now. A man dies in a police shooting in Waikiki. The deadly incident also shut down Kuhio Avenue for much of the night last night. The road is reopened right now. In fact, just about an hour ago it did. KITV4's Paul Drews has the latest details. It's a sight you rarely see. Kohio Avenue closed for blocks, all because this normally busy stretch of Waikiki was turned into a massive crime scene. Witnesses say the shooting began after a police officer tried to make a traffic stop near Kaiolani Avenue. The cop was trying to get the talk to the guy, yelled the guy to get out of the car. The guy was trying to drive off with the cop's arm still in the car, trying to grab the steering wheel or the ignition to pull it out. And he got away, drove a little bit down the street, ran into a tree. We see an uh, officer came running with his gun drawn, yelling him for, to, for him to get out of the car. Uh, the, the old man just uh, stayed there for a couple of seconds, put his car in reverse, and then sped off, tried to speed off. The officer pumped five rounds into him. He came like about another intersection, obviously was clearly, you know, clearly dead. And then with his foot on the pedal, slammed into a tree. His uh, spun out, his engine was on one side of the road, and then his car was on the other side. A man in his 60s was taken in extremely critical condition to the hospital by emergency personnel. He later died. After the shooting, police scoured the street to piece together exactly what happened. Residents and visitors were kept away from the crime scene, but this deadly shooting had many talking about the unexpected violence they witnessed. Right down here in the middle of Waikiki, you wouldn't think to see some crazy shit like that. I don't think the cops should have shot him for that reason. I don't, you know, he was trying to get away. He wasn't drawing on the officer. He was an old man, so you never know what was going on through his head. In Waikiki, Paul Drews, KITV4 News.